Seguimos en el diálogo entre las tres Cortes Regionales de Derechos Humanos que se está llevando a cabo aquí en San José de Costa Rica. Las juezas y los jueces de la Corte Europea, la Corte Africana y la Corte Interamericana han tenido la oportunidad de intercambiar con distintos expertos sobre dos temas en particular, independencia judicial y por qué el acceso a un medio ambiente sano es un derecho humano y los desafíos que se dan en torno al cambio climático. Y uno de los principales expertos que tuvo la oportunidad de dialogar con las juezas y los jueces de las tres cortes es el señor David Boyd, a quien le damos la bienvenida. Él es el relator especial de Naciones Unidas para el Medio Ambiente. Señor Boyd, bienvenido a Corte Interamericana de Derechos Humanos Televisión. Muchísimas gracias. Es un gran placer de estar aquí. Muchas gracias, señor Boyd. Uh, why, in your words, uh, can you explain uh, why the access to a healthy environment should be considered a human right? Well, we are living in a global environmental crisis, which is not only the climate emergency, but also the collapse of nature and ecosystems, toxic pollution that kills 7 million people every year, and also the emergence of these uh, zoonotic diseases like COVID-19. And in the face of this global environmental crisis, the human right to live in a clean, healthy and sustainable environment is of the utmost importance. And what is the role of the regional human rights courts in, in defending the access to a healthy environment as a human right? Well, the opinion? three regional human rights courts in the Americas, in Europe and Africa have an absolutely critical role to play, not only in protecting this right, but in developing the jurisprudence so that the governments of the world understand what their obligations are in order to protect people from pollution, from the climate crisis, and from the, from the destruction of nature. And so the, the courts really have this central role in articulating state obligations with respect to the right to a healthy environment. And in your opinion, what, uh, what should be the role and the dialogue between uh, the regional level at, and the universal level, in this case, uh, the United Nations, uh, on these topics? So the United Nations has a critically important role to, to play, as you say, in, in developing the understanding at the global level. We've had terrific breakthroughs in the last two years at the Human Rights Council and the General Assembly, where the UN has finally recognized the right to a clean, healthy and sustainable environment. A right which is not a new human right, but which is already recognized in law by 160 countries, including the vast majority of countries in Latin America, the vast majority of countries in Africa, and the vast majority of countries in Europe. And uh, you were part, uh, a relevant part of the dialogue among the three regional courts. What, how was your experience uh, in the dialogue with, with the judges on, on this topic in particular? Well, we had a very open and informative dialogue about the important role that these regional courts can and should play in advancing the judicial reaction to the climate crisis. These courts have a long experience in dealing with other environmental issues, air pollution, toxic contamination, pollution of water, etc. But this issue of climate change is really challenging their imagination. And I think these conversations we've had have really helped to clarify the role that they can and should play in addressing the global climate crisis. And it's an open conversation for the future. Absolutely. I think that these conversations, the connections that are made in these meetings really build relationships. And, and that's ultimately what humans are all about, is relationships. And so for me, it's been absolutely fantastic to get to know some of these judges and to be in dialogue going on in the months and years ahead. Señor Boy, muchas gracias por acompañarnos en Corte de HTV. Con mucho gusto. Es un gran placer. Y a ustedes les invitamos a seguir con nuestra programación en el streaming y también en nuestro centro de contenidos audiovisuales. Thank you.